Okay, Calvin Cast on this side of the camera. I'm going to talk loud, and I hope these ladies I'm talking with will also use their outdoor voices. I don't know where I am right now. I used to be, this used to be the Champlain Telephone Company. Uh, before that was a was a convent, but we won't go into that part. But <laughs> that's going back a lot of years. <laughs> but it's uh, the Champlain Telephone Company is a kind of a history, and uh, maybe this young lady here can tell us who she is and where we are. So, Vicki Marking, I am the Sales and Marketing Director for the Champlain Technology Group, which is um, our new name for Champlain Telephone Company, and we basically launched our new brand, new name, um, just short of a year ago, last spring actually, and the reason for the name change was basically to better reflect what we're doing these days. Yes, we still do telephone service, but as everybody knows, um, internet service is probably the thing that is the most important thing to people these days. It's how most people communicate. It's how a lot of people are getting their entertainment. And although we love the history of our company, being over here you know, for over 100 years, we thought it was time to get a little bit of an updated image. And so that's what we've been working to do is get our new name and our new color scheme and everything out to the general public. Okay, and uh, you brought along a special guest. I do. I actually, we wanted to introduce um, to the Northern Tier community, Megan Whedon, who is our new sales consultant. And Megan is working up in the uh, Champlain, Rouse's Point, Moores, Moores Forks, and Altona areas. Um, basically doing a lot of door-to-door -door stuff these days. So the people watching may see her knocking at your door at some point soon. Um, basically talking about Champlain Technology Group and letting people in the community know what we have for products and services. We have done a lot of updating in the last few years. Um, we're working on improving our internet service and speeds and products that are available to people throughout our footprint that we serve and that's kind of what Megan's been brought on for she just started Thanksgiving week and Megan's been brought on basically to get that word out to the community knocking on doors talking to residential customers people that are not necessarily our customers now um, but we want them to be and people that are our current customers um, that'll be able to upgrade. So, yeah. All right. And Megan, uh, M E G H, right? Yes. Megan, uh, different <laughs> ways to spell Megan and Megan and <laughs> Megan. <laughs> and you're a Megan. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and she told me with a last name like Whedon, don't call me Megan. <laughs> Otherwise, there will be consequences. <laughs> but she does answer to that. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, you're a North Country girl. Yes. Um, or, excuse me, woman. Excuse me. I, I forget myself sometimes. That's okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so Megan Whedon. Um, I'm from Plattsburgh. Um, I went to PHS and I went to Plattsburgh State. Um, I actually interned for PrimeLink back when I was in college, so I had some background with Vicki and the team here. Um, so after a few other jobs, I, I made my way back, um, and I've been knocking on doors in the northern tier. All right. Now, when I hear the name Whedon, I uh, think of a bunch of guys growing up in Shazy. Any? You aware of them? Any of them? Oh yeah, um, <laughs> all my wild uncles. Um, so my dad. Yep, my dad is Robin Whedon. He's the youngest of uh, Ken and Phyllis Whedon's family um, from the Lakeshore Road. So I have a couple people who recognize my name from him primarily, but a couple of my my uncles as well. Okay, your father is still summering in the Lion Mountain area. Uh, yep, yep. We have the place on Chazy Lake. It's a lot of fun. Um, he he likes to golf though, so it's usually a toss up. You know, golf or camp. You can't have both. <laughs> um, golf usually wins, but yeah, we still have a lot of fun up there. Okay, all right. So, tell us a little bit about what your what your job is and what you're going to be telling people when you actually knock on doors. That you heard that you heard about this new internet revolution. You can do all everything on the internet <laughs> now. You don't need to. Yeah, be knocking on doors, but you're gonna be knocking on doors, right? Yeah. So for right now, I'm going through um, the areas that we currently have fiber built. Um, fiber is basically just the latest technology for phone and internet speeds. Um, so I'm going into the areas that have the lines already running by the house and just checking on the folks that don't currently use our service to see if I can give them any information, um, just on our speeds and our pricing. Um, 
So it's been going well. Um, I've got Champlain and Rouse's Point buttoned up, um, and I've uh, just about finished Altona, and I'll be headed to Moores and Moores Forks next. <laughs> All right, so uh, I assume uh, you might have to go in the evenings sometimes or weekends. I mean, it's uh, some people work uh, 9 to 5 or whatever, yeah. and... You can knock on the door a long time and nobody's going to answer. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I've made a lot of dogs very upset. Um, but if if I don't catch anybody, I usually leave a hanger behind with my information on it. Um, and I've heard back from a couple of those people, which is nice. Um, for right now, I try to I try to wrap up my day before it gets dark. But as the warmer months come, I probably will be out a little bit later so I can catch people. Um, but it's been good. A lot of nice nice people out there. So it is quite a quite a big footprint, and it's a nasty time of the year, uh, especially next Tuesday coming up. Or might yeah. be zero. I don't know if you want to go out. You may have call in sick that yeah, day. Yeah, usually like <laughs> ten to fifteen degrees is my cutoff. I'll I'll find some things to do in the office on those days. <laughs> there must be something I can do, Vicky, to, <laughs> to stay warm. Yeah, <laughs> Megan happens to have a really good marketing background too, so she has some other skills that she can use when she's not out selling. So. <laughs> okay, so, uh, but basically your your job is to be out on the road and. Yep. Basically knocking. And you started on around Thanksgiving, right after the holiday? Or? Yeah, I started training then, and I think I finally got out on the road. I think the week before Christmas, I, I kind of stuck my toe in, if you will, to go a few places just to see how it would go. Um, and right after Christmas, before New Year's, it was nice. A lot of people were home that week, so I got to see a lot of faces, which was nice. So, so yeah, it's been good. I have a good pair of boots, so... <laughs> <laughs> Well, certainly you can't have seen everybody in Rouse's Point and Champlain at this point in time that you couldn't, you say you... So right now I'm only focusing on the areas where we have the fiber already available. But um, the village of Rouse's Point, village of Champlain, don't they have it? Entirely? Village of Rouse's Point, I did um, just Pratt Street, um, oh. down that street, I saw everybody there. Um, and then Champlain, it was mo mainly around um, the Point of Fair area I went through. So smaller areas for right now, just because that's where the fiber is. Um, but the more I can fill that density, the more we can build and get the service to other people. Yep. Okay, so how, uh, people watching this, how would they know if they've got, uh, CTG fiber available? How would they, is something they can see, look out their window and see, or is there a map somewhere? It, it isn't, but there is a map, so there's a couple things they can do. Um, if they want to make it really easy, they can call into the office and give us their address, and um, our customer service team can definitely check what is available in that area and what internet speeds we can get. If it's not fiber, we also have another um, medium that we bring people internet service, which is called VDSL, which is basically a very upgraded DSL service, and you can get quite good speeds on that product as well. So that's going to be Megan's next step is to go into those areas and talk to people about that product. So we're kind of doing like one thing at a time. Um, it's been a long time since we've had boots on the ground in the footprint, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a project that's going to take her a little while. Um, but people can call in and our customer service team can check it. You can also go to our CTG website and there is actually a section on our website that will allow you to put your service address in and it will tell you what, what packages are available in that particular area. So people can try that if they have questions or whatever, they can always call. And Megan leaves her direct contact information when she goes to people's houses. That way, a lot of times people like to talk to somebody that they know and that they can have a you know a direct conversation with and ask questions of and maybe not be able to call during office hours Megan leaves behind her cell phone number and you can text her that kind of thing um, and we can get answers for people that way okay so what's a typical package that you'll be trying to sell me if you knock on my door so right now in the fiber area um, we have either voice and data which is phone and internet or internet only um, for the people that have cell phones and don't want a landline. Um, and there's basically two different speeds. There's 100 megs or 300 megs as the options. So this is where the fiber optics runs by. So it's, it's yep. just because you have what used to be called Champlain Telephone Company doesn't mean you've got this doesn't kind of fiber going exactly. by your door. Exactly. Doesn't necessarily mean just because you're in our footprint does not necessarily mean you have fiber yet. And I say yet because the plan is, is over the next few years, the entire footprint will be covered in fiber eventually. And we are making like 
very concerted efforts to build out. Probably a lot of people have seen the trucks out in their particular area mm -hmm. because even at this time of the year, we're actually still putting fiber in the air. Um, the next big project for us is this spring we'll be building in Moores. There'll be a lot more fiber going up in the greater Moores community and basically blanket, blanketing most of that zip code with fiber. Um, so we're continuing to grow. Um, we might not be able to get you fiber today. That doesn't mean we can't get you a good product today, and we would convert those people. Eventually, everybody will be converted to fiber. The long-term plan is right now, you know, the, the old telephone company, we brought all the services over copper. That's how the service was delivered. Eventually, we would like all of that copper plant to just be gone and non-existent. It's, it doesn't work as well. There's always more troubles with it. You have a lightning storm. People that have maybe had phone service with us for a long time, you have phone serve. You have a lightning storm. A lot of times it affects your phone service. You might get static on the line. Sometimes it's weather dependent. The long-term plan is to get rid of all of that. So it takes those problems away too. So all of our technicians and everything love that we're upgrading and everything because it they don't want to go back to people's houses three or four times to try to fix <laughs> something. <laughs> Makes it much easier for them too. <laughs> Well, I did see a lot of your trucks uh, a couple of weeks ago when all that wind came through. Uh. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, wind, the windstorm. So we actually, um, since we've become Champlain Technology Group um, and there's no longer, we sold off the Prime Lake side of the business um, and developed our new subsidiary, which is Layer 8. So people probably see the cars and trucks out there that either say Champlain Technology Group or Layer 8. The Layer 8 side of the house is two parts of the business. We do business IT services, which we can do anywhere, not just in the Champlain footprint, but anywhere, basically. And we now have construction crews. So on top of our linemen that maintain our network here in the footprint, we also have construction crews that go out and work in other areas. So a couple weeks ago when we had that windstorm, we actually had um, technicians, linemen that work here for us who were out in... Uh, trying to think. They were like three different places in New York State working on lines that damaged from the from the storm. So that's an that's a newer part of our business and it's allowed us to have additional linemen, additional trucks, additional equipment, help us to maintain our network even better, but also to help other carriers and other people that might need construction telecommunications construction help. So kind of exciting. Things are changing. Yeah. And we have mostly all local people working for us. Nice. We've got um, two full crews of um, linemen and installers. Well, two full crews that are linemen plus installers. And um, I think just about every one of them, I think just about every one of them lives in our surfing footprint. Oh, that's... Which is really nice from an employment standpoint. Right. Yeah. Right. Now, again, you talk about your footprint and I... It's in the news constantly, broadband expansion. Uh, are you guys we have on applied. top of that? Yeah, we much absolutely as you can be? are. I know you've got to each apply and we do. They, they award. We are actually waiting to hear on a grant application now that would help us to build more fiber within our footprint. Um, we actually submitted that application. I think it's probably been three or four months now, and we're waiting on t to hear on the awardees. But yes, that there is a lot of money available through the state of New York and the federal government right now to build out better broadband service. And um, there's a lot of parts and pieces to it to prove that you're in a underserved area, but we have been through that process, and now we're just waiting to see. Because if we can get some dollars to help and make that expansion go faster, um, we would love to see that happen. We're absolutely on top of that. Watch for those things all the time. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> it's the old uh, pick me, pick me. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> okay, we'll take a short break. Come right back with these two young ladies. Okay, we finally got rid of Vicky, and she <laughs> is uh, off doing other important stuff for the moment. But we're back here with Megan and uh, Champlain Technology. I got your card right sitting right here in front of me here. These are collectors. Uh, I'll put that right <laughs> yeah. alongside my my Babe Ruth rookie card. <laughs> <laughs> I'll autograph it for you. <laughs> uh, Champlain 
Technology Group uh, provided with the far, these reliable services. Local and long distance phone service, high speed broadband, fiber to the home, special calling and features, and voicemail. Now, in talking off camera, uh, not everybody in the footprint right now has these services available, but you can give people an idea when they might become available if they're not available right now. Yep. So, you, you want people to contact you, I assume. Yes, that would be great. <laughs> um, you can call our office here, 518-298-2411, uh, um, or you can call me directly as well, 518-324-9380. Um, you can text me, that's easier for you as well. Just let me know your address. Um, and my email is available too, mweeden at champlaintechnologygroup.com. All right, I see the P and I see an F for the 324-4141 number. What's that? What's the... Uh, the phone number will get you the um, the local office here, and the F is just a fax number. Oh. Yep. People still fax? I don't know how to send a fax, <laughs> to be honest with you. I don't. Some people do. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> with email and text and stuff, I don't want people sending me any facts because then I got to buy a ribbon and, uh... Yep, I agree. <laughs> so don't fax me, but <laughs> if you want to fax, uh, Megan, you can. So Champlain Technology Group, uh, if you see this young lady, you... Where's your mask? Show us your mask here in case you... Yes, this come is how I will show door. up to your door. Hopefully by this summer she won't get <laughs> yeah. rid of that mask, but for the time being, uh, that's how she will show up. Yep. And, and uh, if you want to talk to her without her knocking on your door, those are the numbers you can call. You can uh, go to their website. They have a website too here. It's Champlain Technology Group, is it called? Yep, ChamplainTechnology.com. Okay. And uh, do you get to drive one of those purple and green cars? I do. Or, do you? I do. <laughs> I get people that ask. They're like, I thought that was a news station. So it's fun to let people know what we do. So <laughs> so if she doesn't have a purple and green car, it's probably not Megan that's no. knocking on your door. Yeah. So don't let an imposter show up. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else, Megan, that uh, we should mention here before we shut this camera off? I don't think so. I just thank you to everybody that I've already seen um, that has invited me into their homes out of the cold. I appreciate it. Um, and all the dogs that I've met out there in the North <laughs> Country. Um, and I hope to meet you all soon. All right. So that's Megan Whedon and uh, Champlain Technology Group.